Welcome to the modern streets example. This sample shows an urban area on which the city should be expanded. The first step in the design process is usually the definition of the curved street layout, which can be easily simulated with City Engine's dynamic city layouts. In this overview, we see the imported terrain with the satellite image together with a height map which displaces the terrain. A possible street layout has been defined with both existing streets and a series of new streets. Since we want to focus on the streets in this example, the shape generation of the block has been deactivated. Let's have a look at the main parameters. The main widths of the streets and sidewalks are defined in the street parameters of the segments, as seen in this example. The route specific attributes are shown in the inspector. In this example, we have many attributes defined. Some important ones are the median width, the sidewalk height, the tree distance, or different percentages for the distributions of vehicles and people assets. When moving the nodes vertically, you see that the height above ground of the elements is also evaluated and triggers the bridge construction rule instead of the standard street rule. Like this, it is easy to design streets and overpasses. Since the version 2010.2, the City Engine can split geometries in UV texture space. This sample features this UV split. The beauty of it is that like this, the construction of the street and bridge geometry is independent of the street segmentation. This is useful to add geometric details specifically where you actually need it in your scene and keep the poly count at minimum. 